So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Kindergarten. So we have completed all of the missions within this game, which one makes me kind of sad, but however, we're still not finished. As you can see around the center of the room right here, we still have Monster Mon cards to collect, 25 of them to be exact. I figured out alongside a load of you guys that inside of Nugget's Cave, the Talisman cards, I think they're called, that I've spoken about. They're these freaking doohickeys right here. If we collect all of these, supposedly something crazy happens. I don't think we can access it just yet, but when the full game releases, then we can experience whatever happens by collecting 25 of these Monster Mon cards. Right? So the next few videos, guys, are going to be dedicated towards collecting the rest of the Monster Mon cards. I have 15 so far. I believe I have 10 to go. Let me just double check. Yep, I've got 10 more to go, guys. And if we actually head over then to the Hints menu, we can see all of the Monster Mon cards that we need to get. Now, the thing about this is I need to be careful because you can see all the ones I need to get have the new icon on them. But once you go over them, it is gone. So really, I should probably make a note of the numbers I need in case I accidentally go over them, shouldn't I? That's smart. Riveting gameplay. With all the notes made on the numbers, we can now safely look at them. And I think I'm only going to do this in the order of which we're doing the challenges anyway. So we're going to start with number one. How did I not get this one before? Bugs will give you the Cactus Outlaw Monster Mon card if you give him cigarettes. At what point do we need to give him these cigarettes? So I never see an option for this. Huh. Wait, 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 hold up. We can't head to kindergarten yet. We've got to answer the most important question of the day. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Oh, yes, I am. So, supposedly, then, if we head just simply over to Monty and buy, I guess, the cigarettes, we'll go back to Bugs and speak to him, and that should be good. So, here's what's for sale. We already know the cigarettes is what this dude wants. Screw off, kid. I'm busy. Want some cigarettes or screw off? That's freaking enough. I've been robbing kids so I could buy these from Monty. Thanks a bunch. You can have this Monster Mon card. It's one of my favorites. We've got the Cactus one. Well, that was freaking easy. 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 Let's see if we can get two in the same day. So let's look at number three. Martian Orb Man is hidden in Bugs' secret stash. You can access it by stabbing Bugs and following him out to the hallway. Wait, when do we stab Bugs? What the freak? So in order to be able to stab Bugs, I think there's two different methods we can go about it. We can, of course, give the teacher or, sorry, talk to Jerome about the hall pass. Or we could get the pills from Nugget. Now, this gives us option to take more than one thing from a cubby hole because we do know there's a knife in there. Because this then leads on to another thing. If I get Cindy's dog from down in the Nugget cave, I think theoretically I should be able to show it a show in town because she doesn't have a knife. I should live. We are now back in class, guys, and we now have the pills. Welcome back. I hope everything turned out okay with the principal. Say, the principal didn't happen to have given you anything did he? He gave me some pills. Oh, lucky day. You wouldn't mind if your lovely teacher had one now, would you? Be my guest. Good boy. Gulp. Oh, that's nice. Thank you for that. Go on and enjoy the rest of your morning time. I know I will. Oh, I freaking bet, dude. So we can start by taking the knife. Just gonna say this, but we know that she just gives up anyway. Hey, don't go snooping around in... You know what? I don't really care. Just do what you want. All right, man. I'm just drinking. This is Bugs' cubby. That's a knife. Getting caught with this would get me in serious trouble. We're going to take the knife. I mean, we can take absolutely anything we want. I think we need the magnifying glass in order to enter Nugget's cave. So let's take this as well. We're going to take the magnifying glass there. And the strange device. I'd imagine... No, this can't be Nugget's cubby. So whose is it? This is Jerome's cubby. There's a strange device in here. Wait, hold up a second. So the principal is trying to kill his own son? I never kind of thought of it that way. What the fr... Let me talk to Bugs again. Why the hell do you think I would want to be Good morning, buddy. Good point. Okay, over to lunchtime. There has to be a circumstance where we can actually make this happen. Let's try talking to Bugs now. No way a worm like you is going to be sitting with me. I don't want to sit with you anyway, so maybe we can try and talk to Nugget about this. All right, we can't talk to Nugget about this either. Huh, this is interesting. Perhaps then what we'd have to do in order to get this one successful is start the day off by getting Nugget's trust and then maybe do some of his missions and then go from there. So I was trying for ages, guys, to get more than one monster card per day, but I guess that's something the developers didn't want. Um, I mean, there's literally no circumstance where I could get both of Bugs' things done in the same day. We're going to have to settle for getting the Cactus Outlaw on this day, and we're going to head back and get the other card on the next. But I want to see exactly what this thing is. So here we go, the Cactus Outlaw. Let's check this one out. This is the Cactus Outlaw card. No one knows which is more shocking, the crimes he's committed or that he's a sentient cactus. Huh. Interesting. So the next card we're going for, guys, is going to involve trying to get Bugs expelled, or is it? No, it's not. So the next card, guys, is going to be number three. I think I briefed over what this one was, but let me just double check. Martian Orbman is hidden in Bugs' secret stash. You can access it by stabbing Bugs and following him out to the hallway. So that is clearly at lunchtime, I would imagine. We are firstly going to get Lily, or Cindy, should I say, expelled, because wait, hold up. The reason why I'm saying about getting Cindy expelled is because she faces Bugs, and that will be a witness if we stab him. And I'd imagine that's like a thing. I'm also going to talk to Nugget about getting the friendship with him so we can kind of get involved with the mission when we actually have to exterminate Bugs. I think it will all join together nicely there. So what I'm going 
gonna do is I'm gonna skip ahead to when I'm getting stuff out of the cubby holes and then we'll go to cafeteria and see what happens. I'm gonna have to restart again, guys, because I need the yo-yo. This is super frustrating to get these Monster Mon cards, dude. It's not that it's difficult. This is physically frustrating. Like, I never seem to have enough for anything and it's so agitating. So I need $8 to get this Monster Mon card at least a minimum. So I had to restart the day again because I didn't have enough money for the voice recorder and the yo-yo. So we're gonna give Jerome the freaking yo-yo. Yes, whatever, dude, come on. We're gonna be taking, of course, the knife from the cubby hole again. So take the knife. I'm hoping we're on track right now, though. Bruh. Do we have to get this as well? Really? I, I seriously hope we don't because then I failed again. Okay, so getting this Monster Mon card has literally as much weight as completing a mission for one of the characters, guys. You won't believe how much footage I've had to cut out to get to this point. This is ridiculous. We have to do it in a stupidly precise order. Okay, so here's what we do. We have to buy the voice recorder. We have to let Bugs take half of our money. We then have to do the teacher's mission. We then have to do the whole is I love enough thing with Cindy. So we have to get Bugs back in the classroom and get Cindy expelled. And then we get to this point here. The difference in what we gotta do, I believe, is we talk to the teacher now. This is referring as well to Jerome's past. Well, did you get it? I haven't talked to him yet. Dude, I hope this is right. You know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Did you steal a hall pass? Why, you interested in getting one? Yes. Well, too bad. I'm not interested in helping a dweeb like you. Why not? Look, man, unless there's something cool in it for me, you can forget about it. Let's try and tell the teacher what he said. Well, did you get it? I'm not cool enough for him. I hate how obsessed he is with being cool. You're going to have to win the little monster over. Maybe see if you can find a gift or something? Like what? Monty might have something. The little weasel has a bit of everything. There could be something in the cubby too. I'm willing to turn my back if you want to do some snooping. Got it. So now we can actually go in the cubbies right now. This is how we do it, right? I want to get the freaking knife then. So this is Bugs's cubby. We're going to take the knife. Yes. And then, yes, we can buy the yo-yo from Monty. So I guess we're kind of like lying to the teacher. Then we're going to buy the yo-yo and we're going to give Jerome the yo-yo. So now he's going to give us the yo-yo for the whole pass. You've got a deal. And since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. This time, rather than talk to the teacher, though, about giving the hall pass, I'm gonna do some snooping, guys, and I'm gonna take the magnifying glass that Nugget will definitely request down the line. This is Lily's cubby. There is a magnifying glass in here. She's probably using it to look for clues about her missing brother. We're gonna take this, and Jerome, well, you already know. I really hope we've got enough time to talk to Nugget about this too. So yeah, he doesn't want to spend time with us. What are you busy with? And then we're going to say we're interested. This is for the magnifying glass. So now we can talk to him again. I hope we can give it him. Yes, we can. Nugget is pleased. You may have this Monster Mon card. Nugget is quite fond of it. Now be gone. Nugget has important things to attend to. Wait, we ain't got no Nugget from Nugget. Is there any way I can get that? Or have I seriously got to do this whole day again? Let me try and talk to Nugget about this. Okay, he's, he's still doing the same dialogue line. I, and I can't stab bugs. This... So now I'm gonna try talking to the teacher about Nugget. It says that we have to befriend him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens, I guess. So I hope now the option is here to talk to him. Let me see. That is absolutely stupid. Guys, look at this. I've been recording for 90 minutes for this one Monster Mon card, and or it would not give me the option to ask Nugget to be friends. Like, why can't I do that by default? I'm sorry, guys. This is a ridiculous game. I'm really not enjoying this mission. This one especially has been the biggest amount of bullcrap ever. So then we talk to Nugget, I guess, which is what I've been trying to do for the longest freaking in time. Right, so we've eaten the poison. Yeah, we know it's gonna poison. We're gonna die. All that. Yep, yeah, take that nugget, you freaking dingus. So now at least we have some reason to actually talk to Bugs again. So, okay, I'll try. Then when we talk to Bugs, I think the option is right there to stab Bugs. Dude, this is ridiculous. Ah! Straight in the eye. Enjoy that, fatty! And he runs out just like that. So it says we complete the mission getting the antidote as well. That means we won't die from poisoning ourselves. Let's talk to Nugget. Has Bugs been poisoned? It's been done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite... Po <clears throat> Moving on. So we've now given the glasses. I'm not going to talk, or should I talk to Nugget now? You know what? I'm just going to go out of the room. I just want to see what's happened to Bugs. So here we go. We've exited now. And there we go. We can see a huge blood trail and Bugs is bleeding into his secret cubby hole. Let's take a look at this. Poor Bugs. It looks like he was trying to get something from underneath this tile. I love how we said poor Bugs, yet we're the ones that murdered him. Underneath the tile, it looks like Bugs had a secret stash under this tile. There is a Monster Mon card along with the money he took from me this morning. We're going to first take the card. That's all we care about. I didn't get the antidote from Nugget. I'm still walking home. Please don't drop dead at like a random interval. I'm really par- My god. My freaking god, dude. I don't believe it. That was the most insane card you got. It's done. It's done. 
One and a half hours of gameplay for two Monstermon cards. This is the Martian Orbman card. He comes in peace, but those orbs make a lot of people really uncomfortable. Honestly, he comes in peace. Let's take a look at six. So Sydney will give you Giraffe Serpent if you give her a pill while playing house. Okay, that seems simple enough. So this day I'm taking zero money with me. I first got to say to him that uh, I'll be your friend, I think. I think it's actually what happened to Billy because we can ask, do you know where he is? Who knows? Then we can ask what's in those pills and then we can pretty much say that the principal gave him pills and then get one from him. That's been done. So now I think all we've got to do is Lily's mission as is. So we're just going to say like what? Take the gum from Lily. And then we skip to, I think, the first part of the day. Put the gum in her hair. And then we get to play house. Yoink! Put the gum in Lily's hair. Did you just... Oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. Now we can be our morning buddy. So now we can play house with her. Thank goodness for that. We're going to head on over to this. And this should give us the... I can't remember what the Monstermon card was. But it's a Monstermon card. It's all I care about. Okay, so I played house and there was no option to give the pill over. I guess I play again. This time, I'm going to try and choose really, really carefully. I thought maybe it would be like an option at the end. So, welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard because you're going to make dinner tonight. We could say, yes, dear, I guess. And after that, you need to... Have you been drinking? Wait, what? Have you been drinking? No, honey, I'm just tired. Are we going to play house? Let me try and say that one. Play house? You want to play house? This is playing house. Now, answer the damn question. Yes, dear. Let's actually admit this time. Well, at least you're being honest with me and more importantly yourself. You have a problem. Yes, dear. I want you to call your sponsor and tell him all about it. I also want you to give me money to buy a new person. Help me handle the trauma and PTSD you've caused me. We don't have enough, so I'm sorry. You're not. You might want to reconsider that. Why? Because otherwise you might get hurt. Are you literally serious, bro? She's got a freaking knife. I don't have nothing. It's my pretty pink pocket knife. Now give me some money. Help calm me down. I, I mean, it just makes a fart sound. I don't have enough. That's a shame. You showed me a promise. I we were playing house and she stabbed me in the freaking forehead, bro. So I'm going to do the abortion option, which is really freaking morbid, but I think this is how we do it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I don't know exactly how to do it. I think there's a pill you can take. I have a pill you can take. Perfect, gulp. Wow, who knew abortion would feel so nice? I just realized we've literally drugged a kindergarten student. Let that one sink in. I think you've earned a special treat. You can have this monster mon card since you and the extra Molly are naturally had an abortion pill. Say. So is this drugs also? Yeah, I think she's pretty drug, man. Oh, that sweet music playing me out, man. Honestly, I need more of that right now. After that freaking card number three. Woo -wee. Okay, we've got the giraffe serpent card. Let's see what this is all about. Here it is. Okay, this is the giraffe serpent card. It's a snake with a really long neck or body. We can't tell. So wait, is it the giraffe or the serpent? Which way is this going here? Alright then guys, so to finish off, I'm gonna go for number 17. Uh, apparently this involves the janitor, and I'd imagine this is when we get Jerome's pass and go to the toilet. The janitor will give you man with long arm if you show him Jerome's hall pass. Is that seriously a <laughs> monster on card name? For this one, we've gotta firstly buy the yo-yo. Alright, then we say I don't need anything else. Then we gotta talk to Jerome about getting the pass. Give him the yo-yo, and I guess just head to the toilet from there. I mean, I guess this would make sense, because we show him the principal pass, and this guy's like, go wherever the freak you want, dude. So we could, we could go straight into the toilet if we really wanted and talk to the janitor. So this is a different option right here. I chose this one by saying about the bloody bags and telling about it after he said he'll only give us a nickel. Uh, the thing about this guys is that I don't understand why we can't just simply show him it like there's just a new option. I don't know why we have to go through dialogue to then get there because like I know I'm going here for that purpose. So I don't know. I feel like our character should as well or else this, this feels a bit nonsensical. Applegate is expecting me back. Is she now? Well then I'm sure you have one of her bathroom passes. We're going to give that away. <laughs> you think you're so clever, don't you? You didn't get this from Applegate. No. These passes are only given out by the boss. You got this from the principal's boy, right? That's right. I knew it. Speaking of that little devil, I swiped his laser thingy this morning. Say, is that what this is about? You're here to get his laser thingy? Hmm. If we said yep, he might get annoyed. If we say that one, he probably will be a little bit more calm. I don't really care. I just wanted the pass. <laughs> Clever kid. You know what? I like you. You can have this silly card thing that I nicked from that fat kid. Oh my goodness me. Good now, skedaddle. I'm out. I'm out. I think we can actually get another Monster Mon card through eating loads of slop from the teacher or should I say rather the uh, cafeteria lady? So uh, let's just keep going after Lily walks out. Let's go one more time here. So we're going to take some more. Thank you very much. And then we're going to go back over to the bin, throw it away again. This will be the third time. So let's see what she says. My word, even Bugs doesn't eat my slap with such enthusiasm. So I think we're on some kind of track here. It's delicious. I think you've earned something special. My way of saying thank you for appreciating the slop. Here's a Monster Mon card. So there's a second one. Thank goodness for that, dude. Just because we've gotten this far as well, I'm going to show this at the, uh, the show and tell. Hey, that's one of the principal's hall passes. He said one was missing this morning. I can't believe you stole it. Go to the principal and tell him what you did. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, we didn't see that one coming, did we? All right, so we got two new Monster Mon cards. Man with long arm and uneaten cake. Yes. This is the man with long arm card. A freak accident gave his arm incredible length, but took it from somewhere else. 
Maybe, maybe his other arm. <coughs> maybe his leg. Maybe, 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 maybe his other leg. I don't quite get what it's trying to say. The next one as well. This is the uneaten cake card. Looks like your mom didn't show up at the party. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there we go then, guys. We have got some more monster mon cards. We've only got five more to go now. I've been recording for over two hours. Yeah over two hours for this. I had fun getting like those two right there. I felt like that was a nice little adventure. The way it makes you get some of the cards really doesn't make sense like in the grand scheme. It's not really how I would want to get them anyway. Like you have to be so specific, get circumstances to happen. I just want to trigger them and make them happen like another way, you know? I feel like the missions were super fun, but this this was stressful as heck for me personally. I got so mad at drawing, I think it was card number three. That took me over an hour to get. I'm glad I did it, but dude, I'm glad it's over. I do not ever want to experience something like that again. I hope that is the last of the finicky cards though, guys, because that was was no fun. I just want to remember this game for the fun it is and not really the boring stuff like what it was there. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode of Kindergarten. If you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? <gasps> so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, if you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one. I'm just laughing how this took me two hours, man. What the heck?